Want to know what the month of July has in store for you? What energies will be present? What you can expect? What you can look out for? This is the Juicy Pick a Card reading for you, my friends. Let's get started. All right, hello my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you just so happen to stumble upon today's video, hello, welcome. My name is Shanetta from Shanetta's Divine Tarot here on YouTube. On this channel, I love to make tarot pick a cards, tarot readings, and other spiritual related videos. So if that, my friend, is something you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe down below. And while you are down there, hit the notification bell so you stay updated and you do not miss out when Homegirl posts future videos like so. You already know, Let's go. All right, you guys. So if you can see a tail, it's because Yankee Doodle wanted to make an appearance. I think that's his new thing. Like he knows when I'm about to record and he likes you guys. Well, he loves you guys. So say hi, Yuki. <laughs> So he's going to chill with me. But anyways, you guys, so this pick a card reading is going to be all about the month of July. This is going to be what you can expect, what you can look out for, what energies are going to be present. So you will be prepared. I do want to give you some disclaimers because I always got to give the disclaimers. But what I will be saying today is not set in stone. So if you hear a message and you do not really like it, you're scared of it, whatever. So have you just know that this is simply a blueprint okay so the tarot is just going to be a reflection of the energy that you are currently portraying into this universe so you know you can change your outcomes by just simply changing what you're doing and what whatever okay you guys but disclaimer what I'm saying is not set in stone you have free will to do whatever you choose all right you guys but with that being said I'm so excited for today's video, video, reading video. <laughs> I'm so excited for today's video because I am a July baby. Okay, so this is my month and we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. Let's get started. All right, my beautiful lovely. So jumping right into today's pick a card reading, as always, the very first thing that I would love for all of my beautiful lovelies to do today is take your three deep mindful breaths. Okay, what this is going to do is not only is it going to relax your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, but this is also going to help you deeply connect with your higher self and deeply connect with your intuition, which will give you a more accurate in-depth reading. All right, you guys, so please take your three deep breaths three or more okay the more the merrier um, but once you have done that the next thing that I would like for you to do is ask yourself either out loud or in your head what does the month of July have in store for me what can I expect what can I look out for what do I need to know about July okay continuously ask yourself that all right and then I want you to look at these piles okay we have pile number one pile number two pile number three pile number four and pile number five. All right, you guys. So which pile or piles, okay, is calling out to you and really choose with your intuition, choose with your higher self, okay? So if certain numbers call out to you, go with it. If multiple piles call out to you, go with it. Always trust your intuition. All right, you guys. So we have group one, two, three, four, Five. All right. As always, you guys, the timestamps will be listed in the description box as well as pinned to the comments. You already know how I do over here. If you need any more time, please don't rush yourself. Pause this video. Really focus and meditate on these cards to get an accurate reading. All right. And once you are ready, you can go fast forward to your pile selection and I will see you there. Let's get started. All right, so jumping into this reading today, tuning into my lovelies that selected pile number one, group number one, let's go ahead and see what the month of July has in store for you. All right, let's go, you guys. So I, I wanna let you guys know, I did use a lot of decks today. This is definitely going to be in depth. So there's my little FYI. So. For the month of July, we have the rose, which is all about unconditional love, okay? We also have birch, which is all about support and union, okay? So, and it looks like the month of July, you will be coming together with somebody, or it looks like you could even be coming together with yourself, or this could just be representing that an area of your life will be coming together and getting itself together in July. All right, group number one, and we also have the blue tansy, which this is all about a 
imagination, elasticity, your creative energy, you know, doing things that really spark your creative um, flow of things, you know, getting random ideas out of nowhere, okay? That's what's really coming through for you. Bright positivity. I feel like the month of July is going to be a happy month for you guys with a lot of love and support from your friends, your family. So if you are going through something right now or even in the month of July, if you do go through something, I'm seeing that you will be getting that support that you need. Okay, so there is a little FYI for you for the month of July. If things do seem a little bit shaky, you do have support and love from your family, okay? So we have Queen of Wands here in reverse. We also have Queen of Cups in reverse. And just from these two cards, I'm sensing that there's going to be a little bit of, you know, the first word that's coming up with that one is rivalry. You know, maybe there's going to be somebody in your life that you don't really, who. Okay, Knight of Swords. So this is the energy of somebody that you don't really see eye to eye with. There's a lot of aggressive, aggressive energy. Maybe somebody the month of July is going to upset you or make you mad. All right, so we also have Queen of Swords, which that's a very interesting energy, but there's nothing wrong with the Queen of Swords. We also have Nine of Pentacles, which this is a, a boss, B-I-T-C-H energy right here, these two together. Basically, I feel like for the month of July, you are really gonna be standing strong in your power and, you know, cause you're gonna be popping, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everything in your life is going to be going very well. And especially the finances for the month of July, your finances are definitely going to be popping. All right, you're gonna have money to save, have money to spend on whatever and get the bills paid. That's what I'm seeing here, all right? And I'm seeing that you might actually be working very hard the month of July, you know, always working, constantly working, and you know, you don't have time for foolishness. So this could be what this Knight of Swords energy is about. But I do wanna let you guys know, don't be so uptight the month of July because you're supported. Look at things from a place of love. But I'm seeing financially everything will be looking good for you. We also have death. And that's interesting because we have Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups in reverse, you know. So is there going to be a falling out between friendships or relationships, you know? Because the death card talks about something ending so a new beginning can occur. Maybe you're going to cut somebody off. Maybe you're going to end a friendship. Maybe you're going to end a relationship. Maybe you are going to, and this doesn't have to be about relationships, but that's really what I'm feeling. But this could also be about, you know, certain habits that you have, you know. Do you overeat? Do you drink? Do you do stuff that you should it shouldn't be doing whatever the case scenario is i see that you are going to be ending something that's toxic with the queen of swords it's the energy of like okay i've had enough i'm smart in this decision and i need to do what's right for me okay so you're gonna be in that energy which i love that energy it's beautiful you know you don't have time for the foolishness you're just trying to get to where you need to be and if people are holding you back the month of july Okay, so the last tarot card is Two of Swords. And you know, this is the energy for me. Sorry, one second. This is the energy for me of, you know, it could be trust issues, but for me, it's like, I'm not having it. My guard's up, you know, I'm smarter than this. My intuition is telling me that I should not trust this situation, this person. And what I'm seeing with all this, this swords energy and this, you know, queen of swords, which is a very good card, your intuition is going to be popping the month of July. So, you know, if you get insight on, you know, a certain situation and it gets you a little bit upset, I would say trust it. Trust your intuition the month of July. And so these two cards here, this these two cards, I held the intention that they're going to show us what the overall theme of July is for you guys. All right, so you guys have a full moon eclipse. And this is all about conclusions are within reach. And this ties into the whole energy of Queen of Swords, Death, and Two of Swords. You are going to be uncovering something. So, you know, the month of June or the months before that, if you have been questioning somebody's motives, if you've been questioning something, conclusions are coming to you the month of July. And I feel like this is going to make you very happy, okay? And it's going to be much needed for you. And we also have first quarter moon. Your commitment commitment is being tested. Now, this is interesting energy, you know, so the month of June, you're going to be tested um, in certain levels. And I feel like the test might come in a form of relationships. For you, I feel like relationships, friendships, and even the relationships, friendships that you have with your with yourself, you need to pay, play, pay close attention to the month of July, okay? And also with the commitment energy and the two queens in reverse, I will say, you know, 
if your intuition is telling you that somebody's being sneaky or they're being disloyal and they're betraying you, look more into that. Your intuition is going to be popping the month of July, all right? And I will warn you because I'm not just all sugar and sprinkles over here. I tell you everything, but I see with this Knight of Swords, this is an aggressive energy, you know? So don't go around fighting anybody because that's, <laughs> that's what's coming through, you know? Just be the bigger person. You see this Knight of Swords, you know, this messiness. And then you have Queen of Swords, which is, you know, walking away from conflict and just being the bigger person in a certain situation. Okay, so I did also want to pull out my card the cards just to get some more deeper insight of what energies are going to be entering your life the month of July. So we have Jupiter as the planet, which this is an amazing card to get to represent your month. Jupiter is the planet all about growth, change, expansion, the money, okay? So like I said with this nine of pentacles, your finances, your money is going to be looking beautifully, okay? Also, you could get a pay raise. You know, this death card could be about, you know, ending a certain position at your job and beginning a new position you know it's the death card isn't all bad you know so don't get spooked when you see it all right but this is all about blessings granting stuff good fortune growth you know positivity so that's something to look forward to we also have Scorpio energy and you know Scorpio energy is kind of secretive you know you can't really get your your hands around it your fingers on it so like I said pay and it's funny because the death card is ruled by Scorpio so you guys could really be in influenced by Scorpios the month of July. Also air signs, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Look out for them, okay? We also have the seventh house, which the seventh house is all about, you know, relationships, friendships, fairness, balance, cooperation. So I, the main theme for you guys, the month of July is your friendships. I feel like it's going, your friendships, you know, is going to be tested. So if there's any fake people in your life, if there's any people that are doing snaky, sneaks, sneaky stuff behind your back, the month of July, that's going to be uncovered, you know, because Queen of Swords, she's very smart. You know, she's like the spy. She figures out how to know things you know she she knows how to figure things out okay but I'm seeing exactly with this nine of pentacles that whatever you figure out whatever you uncover you're going to be very happy about it because you're going to be at peace okay so the next cards that came through for we have the creative card which lets me know the month of July your creative your your creative spark is going to be there and you're also going to be partaking in a lot of creative activities whether it's writing dancing singing painting making jewelry okay whatever your heart desires I'm seeing that that is going to help you. That's going to help you bring a lot of ideas and abundance, happiness into your life the month of July. So if you're not a creative person, I will say the month of July, you should look into, you know, just fun hobbies that can, you know, ease your mind. Because I'm also seeing with this swords energy that you're going to be very in your mind, in your head, you know, thinking a lot. And sometimes when you're thinking a lot, it can lead to overthinking and negative thinking. So a good way for you guys, the month of July to just chill out is, you know, do something creative, okay? We also have very soon. And this card is basically saying what you are asking for will happen soon in a happy way. So think about it. What have you been wanting? What have you been manifesting? What have you been speaking into existence? Because I'm seeing that the month of July is coming to you. You guys, don't forget, Jupiter is the planet that's representing your month. And this is good luck. This is good energy, you guys. So I want you to know that July is going to be a good month for you. We also have the laughter card, which lets me know, you know, you're going to have a lot of fun this month, but this could also show that the month of July, you're going to be so serious that you need to laugh more. You need to have more fun. Okay. And it goes both ways. This is a general reading for a lot of my lovelies out there. So take what goes, let the rest flow. All right. So jumping into the next cards that you guys got, we have challenging times. And it's interesting because, you know, challenging times, but Jupiter is the theme of the month for you. So it's just like things will be good, but I feel like you will at some points in the month, you're going to uncover something that's going to make you mad. I'm just, I'm just, that's what I'm seeing. Or you're going to be around somebody or a situation that's going to piss you off and you're going to walk away from the situation. That's what's coming through. Um, so that might be a little bit challenging. I'm seeing that that might even be the beginning of the month, you know, dealing with a liar or uncovering a secret secret and you know just stressing about it but towards the end of the month it's major growth of course but you still might have trust issues towards that person or you still might have like some grudges toward that person but other than that you know everything else is positive so keep your head up you know don't don't get so upset by whatever this knight of swords energy is 
So we have nurture. Possibly for some of you guys, you're gonna be working on nurturing the relationship that is kind of sour, or you know, you could just be working on nurturing your own relationship with yourself, which is what Nine of Pentacles is all about. Giving yourself the unconditional love, giving yourself the support because Queen of Swords, you don't need nobody, you know? Of course, it's great to have people, but once you realize that you don't need nobody to feel secure and safe, that is where the beauty's at, okay? And so the next card is Dedicated Effort, which lets me know the month of July, you guys will be working very hard, very diligently, but your rewards will pay off. Like, like I said, the finances are going to be beautiful for you guys. All right, so I did pull some more cards. I pulled a lot because, you know, I want to let you guys know what I'm seeing for you guys. You know how I'm rocking. So we have teaching and learning, which this also is indicating that whatever tricky, challenging situation does come your way the month of July, it's to teach you a certain lesson and it's for you to learn from that experience. That's what the death card is all about. It's all about, you know, learning, growth, expansion, you know, getting that that experience so that you won't have to face that anymore um, or you'll know what to do if it happens again. So teaching and learning, but also for some of you, a message that I am seeing with the creative card, the nine of pentacles, the imagination card. Um, honestly, the month of July, if you are, have been wanting to put together a class or a course, do it. This would be the perfect month for you and that would bring you a lot of success and abundance. But also if you have been thinking about taking a class, okay, do it. This would be the perfect month for you. All right. We also have the rebirth card followed by intuition, which this is confirmation. That's so crazy, but this is confirmation that your intuition will be on point the month of July. So trust your feelings, trust your gut instinct, just trust it. Okay. Like if something is telling you, hmm, I don't know, listen to it. The rebirth energy, which equals up to a seven, this is all about growth. Okay. So I feel like the month of seven, you're going to be maturing. You're going to be growing up, which is a very beautiful thing. And I'm so happy for you guys. Okay. And this rebirth energy, of course, like when you come out of a certain situation that, you know, just doesn't serve you, you're just going to feel so much better. Okay. So much better. So I feel in the beginning of the month, that's when this challenging energy is going to come. But towards the end of the month, you're going to see everything will just turn out beautifully in your favor. Okay. So the crystal card for you guys is titanium rainbow quartz which this is all about the multi-faced energy, okay? There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you are asking about. So as I was talking about this sneaky energy, you know, with, you know, the truth being uncovered, with your intuition hinting at something, with, you know, the commitment being tested, as I was talking about that, if any person or situation came up, came up, came up in your mind as I was talking about that, that person, that situation has, you know, a lot going on behind the scenes that you aren't aware about. So that's why that intuition is coming into play for you. Okay. So the last cards that I drew for you guys, this is going to be your love life for the month of July. I didn't want to focus this all on love. This is about all areas of your life. Uh, so I did pull only three cards for you. So the first card, Okay, so the first card is deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This could be confirmation for some of you guys, and I don't like to be a snitch, but these is what the cards are saying. So just pay attention if you are in a relationship with somebody and you know you just have this feeling that you can't shake, look more into it, okay? But of course, if you're in a happy, loving, committed relationship and you guys don't roll like that, don't worry about it, disregard it, you know? Take what goes, let the rest flow. And if you're single, you know, this obviously doesn't pertain to you, but if you're single and you have your eye on somebody, this does pertain to you. So we have deception. We also have let your friends help you. You need to ask for support and help from others, okay? Don't be so independent because Queen of Swords, she's very independent, but you know, you do eventually need somebody, you know, to talk to, to let it all out, you know? So don't, don't be so hard. Don't be like a hard, a hard rock, you know? Be more gentle with yourself. And we also have pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you guys, if you selected group number one, I feel like you're... <laughs> If you just, you know, recently started dating somebody, 
look more closer to them or if you've been dating somebody for a long time and you just feel like things are not adding up, look into it. But of course, if this doesn't resonate, you know, just disregard it, okay? So also, you guys, so I pulled you guys all of these cards. So this is what I'm seeing, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more. So I'm gonna do something really fun. I want you guys all to think of a question, one question as I shuffle these cards. Focus on these cards as I shuffle, ask your question. And I'm gonna pull three cards here. And we're gonna see what the answer to your question is for the month of July. There's one. All right. So to answer your question, we have, there is something better for you. Whatever you're asking about, there's something better. We have abundance, baby. And we also have helpful people. So hopefully those answered your questions. That was something fun that my intuition just told me to do. Also, I do want to pull you guys some advice cards, you know, get some advice. What is the overall advice for all of my lovely selecting group one? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So they said you need a lot. So advice. You are talented and freaking amazing. If the world needs your power, use your voice and just don't use it for dumb stuff. Okay. You need a big freaking hug. Squeeze. Okay. Virtual hugs. All right. We also have drop the freaking ego. Vulnerability is hot AF. Okay. You need some freaking yoga in your life. Ancient stuff is cool. And this is all the advice for July. You look like a crap show. You know, you look a mess. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Okay. And then we also have stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Okay. So the card said it, not me. All right, you guys. And I'm going to end your reading with three affirmations that will help all of you lovelies the month of July. What are three affirmations that my beautiful lovelies? Okay. Well, that's more than three, baby girl. So let's put those back. Let's see, what are three affirmations for all of my group one people? What will help them the month of July? What will help group number one the month of July? Okay, so we have actually three cards that came out. We have your emotional health. I trust myself to act when the energy moves me. I trust myself to act when the energy moves me. So if the universe the month of July is like really forcing you to leave somebody alone or forcing you to move on or forcing you to get a new job or forcing you to move, do it because that is the universe telling you there is something better for you, period, okay? So we also have work. The perfect job finds me. The month of July, repeat this affirmation. The perfect job finds me. Because I'm also seeing that financially you'll be looking very well the month of July, okay? And the very last affirmation is about your physical health, group number one. I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and allow my cells to vibrate at their highest potential. I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and allow my cells to vibrate at their highest potential. All right, which means don't partake in lower vibrational energy stuff in July. You know, listen to your body, listen to it so that you can be vibrating high and so that you can attract so much abundance and prosperity, group number one. So that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, make sure you comment down below. Let me know how this resonated with you, if this resonated with you, if you're excited for July. Also, thumbs up this video lets me know you want to see more like so. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next group. I will see you soon. Let's go. All right. So tuning into my lovelies that selected pile number two, let's go ahead and see what the month of July has in store for you, baby boo. Okay. Psycho. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Also, I want to let you know, I used a bunch of cards today, so it's going to be really in depth, in depth and fun. So I hope you're ready. All right. So we'll start with these cards for one, the month of July. We have Cedarwood, which is all about optimism and connection. All right, we also have Spearmint, which is creative expression. Okay, we have Clove, determination and empowerment the month of July. 
and eucalyptus, liberation, well-being. Okay, so just from these cards, I'm seeing, you know, from the imagery, it looks like the month of July, you are going to be around a lot of people. You know, you maybe you're going to be public speaking. Maybe you're going to be going on vacation, you know, touring something. Or, you know, maybe you just are in a job that involves being around a lot of people. But I'm seeing the month of July especially, you know, you're going to be connecting with a lot of people, doing things creative, you know, helping society, helping the world. Okay, empowerment, determination. I feel like with this creative expression, with determination, you are going to have a lot of this bold energy to just go after your gifts and go after creative expression, you know, emotionally expressing yourself, spreading knowledge with the world. That's what I'm seeing, definitely. With spearmint and eucalyptus, anytime I think of those herbs, I think of like a very refreshing, cleansing energy. So I'm here to tell you, tell you if the past months were kind of rough and just shaky, I feel like the the month of July will be a breath of fresh air. That's what's coming through, like literally, breath of fresh air. And you will get this new confidence. You'll get this new boost of energy to go after your desires and your dreams. Okay, so if you have been feeling unmotivated, feeling just lazy, you know, because we've all been there, the month of July, you will just have this spark, this new energy inside of you. Okay, and that's something to be very excited about. So getting into the tarot cards, let's see what you got. So we have justice. That's so crazy this, that, that this card just came out because the justice card for me talks about, you know, good energy coming to your life. You know, anytime that it comes up in a reading in your favor, things are going to be better than what they have been prior to receiving this card. You know, so if things have been shaky, the month of July, things will balance itself out and you will be getting better. Okay. If you've been sick, the month of July, you will be, you know, starting to heal. You'll be starting to feel better. But if you've just been in a depression, depression or in a funk, July, you will be feeling better. Okay. We also have the emperor card. Wow. And that ties into empowerment and determination. The emperor energy is about really standing firm in your foundation and calling the shots. Okay. I'm seeing that you guys will just have this energy inside of you, baby. And it's just going to be so intense and you're just going to be in control. Okay. If you want something, you're going to go after it the month of July. I'm feeling hype for you guys. Okay. That Aries energy. We also have the magician. This is a very special month for you guys. And for some of you that selected this group, it might honestly be your birthday month, okay? The month of July, okay? Or your birthday just passed. Whatever the case scenario is, this is a very fun energy. And I'm seeing also with this magician card, the month of July, manifesting will be so easy for you. I feel like you'll just be in the flow. You'll have this deep connection to the divine the month of July, okay? So that's something to definitely look forward to. We also have the star card. So, so far, this is very interesting, you have all major arcana cards. Major arcana cards are basically major life events that occur in all of our lives. And for you to have four of them, four is the number of stability. Four is the number that you want to see. Okay, I feel like July is going to be a really good month for you. You're going to be getting stuff done. You're going to be very productive and you're just going to be on it. And let me remind you that I also see that a lot of people will be looking at you like, how is he or she doing it? Like, okay, that's just what's coming through for you. And I'm also seeing with the magician card and the star energy, if you do want something, the month of July is really the month for you to go after it. Um, things that are going on astrology, I can never say the word. Things that are going on in the stars, basically, for you. Um, are going to be helping you. It's the, the universe is really going to be on your side. So, you know, this is a good month for you to light a candle with your intentions, for you to write out your petitions, for you to make your vision board or go back to it. This is the month for you to manifest because I'm seeing that you will get perfect results. This is the fifth major arcana card, okay? The moon. And the moon card is all about that, that beautiful watery energy, your emotions. I feel like you'll be easily able to express your emotions the month of July. It'll just come quicker, you know? And especially with those of you that have been struggling with, you know, anxiety, depression, or just being in a funk, I feel like the month of July, you will be coming out of that. You'll be, you know, really having some time to reflect with yourself and see what was working for you, what wasn't working for you, so that you can get that determination and empowerment. Eucalyptus is very cleansing. So I feel like you're going to be cleansed of all that old negative energy. 
And also, you guys, your intuition is going to be on point, like period. That's what I'm seeing for you. Um, definitely. So if you are, if you have selected this group and you do any psychic readings or any spiritual work, July is going to be a really powerful month for you. Oh my goodness. That's just what's coming through. We also have nine of cups, which is fulfillment and the make a wish card. So it's your birthday, homie, or it's it's coming soon. That's what's coming through for you. But anyways, like whatever it is that you're wanting, please go after it the month of July. I will say, you know, if you do choose to go on a party or do something special the month of July, just make sure that you don't drink too much or you don't overindulge because then that might be a little bit messy. <laughs> I will see that. I do see like a lot of people. So maybe you honestly might be partying a lot the month of July or just getting in social gatherings. Okay. We also have five of swords in reverse and five of cups in reverse. Interesting. Yeah. So like I was saying, if you do choose to go to parties or whatever the month of July, just make sure that you're not over drinking. You're not over smoking. You're not overdoing it because that could probably cause some conflict with these, this five energy, but also, you know, the, I miss you text. Like when you're like super like drunk or something, just be careful for that. Definitely. Cause that's, what's coming through with that deep connection. All right. But anyways, that was just a message for whomever needed to hear it. But I'm seeing, you know, overall, the month of July is going to be very good for you. But the main message that's coming through for you guys is if you have been struggling with, you know, your mental health or just any areas in your life, if you've been struggling, feeling unmotivated, lazy, just groggy, you're going to be getting better. There might be some times in the month of July where it slips back up. You know, those thoughts come back, the sadness comes back, the, the feeling the same way comes back. But I'm seeing with this being in reverse, you're gonna easily be able to get out of it. You know, this is just the powerful energy that's gonna be around you the month of July. So this is a really good group. So these cards, I held the intention that this is these cards are going to show me what the overall theme is going to be for you the month of July. So the first card is, this is literally saying what I was just saying. That is crazy. And like I always say, like when I shuffle, I don't look at the cards. I just shuffle so I can be surprised when I flip them over. And wow, full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Like I was saying, if you have been going through hard times and things have just been so upsetting for you, if you feel like you just can't win, the month of July, it's going to be a completely 360. You're ending that cycle of helplessness and you're entering the cycle of determination, empowerment, and just feeling liberation and feeling healthy, you know, feeling powerful, like you can do anything. I'm excited for you guys. The month of July. Okay. And it's funny because the Capricorn energy is all about organizing, getting things in line. You know, Capricorns always have it together. Well, sometimes, you know, but they make sure it looks like they always have it together. Okay. And this is the energy that you're stepping into. So if your bedroom's been a mess, if you just, you know how it is, you know how it can get, just know that things are going to be getting completely way better for you. Okay. And so the next card for the overall theme for the month of July for you is a, mo a mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone, okay? And this is just, you know, confirmation or this is just going to be letting you know that if you feel, you know, helpless as of right now, it's not permanent. Things will get better. But also, you know, your fate isn't set in stone. You know, you have time to turn things around. You have time to follow your dreams. So do it. All right. And this mutable energy lets me know that the month of July, you will just have so much energy, energy to dip and dabble into multiple things. That's what I'm seeing for you. And this is so exciting. And with this emperor energy, it lets me know that you will handle it like a boss. Okay. Wow. So I did want to get some astrology cards just to see what additional energies will be present for you guys uh, the month of July. So the planet that will be with you is the sun. And the sun is all about happiness. It's all about, you know, bold energy, being yourself, you know, a leader, leadership, Aries energy too. So this is beautiful. So happiness. It's just so interesting how I mentioned depression and the overall theme is the sun, you know, seeing the, the sun after the dark. Okay. So things are getting better for you. 
The sign we have cancer. All right. So cancers could be a really big impact on you the month of July, Aries, Libras. Um, what else do we have? We have Pisces energy. Okay. Those are just some to look out for Capricorn as well. Um, definitely Leo Aries energy, but anyways, cancer is definitely going to be playing a big part in the month of July for you, which is all about your emotions, your feelings. You're going to, you're going to feel the emotions. I will say that with all of this water, but you're going to handle them very well. Okay. Maybe you're going to start journaling and writing out your feelings. Maybe that's going to be what helps you, but all in all, I'm seeing that you're going to be handling things very beautifully. Ooh, you guys have the ninth house, the ninth house. Okay, which the ninth house is all about your spiritual values. Okay, long term thinking, doing things in a big way Philo what is the word philosophies, you're going to be thinking about the bigger pictures the month of July, you're going to be thinking about the bigger pictures, you're going to be thinking about routines, how you can get to your dreams or goals, which this is a very beautiful energy. You guys, I'm excited for you. Just know that your emotions might be running a little bit high the month of July, but it's okay. You know, you're ready for it. Okay. And there might be times, you know, there might be times maybe when you have a few few mini two drinks and then you start feeling the motions but it's gonna be medicine for you it's gonna help you release that stagnant energy okay sorry I had a burp um so I, I do want to let you know everything that I'm seeing so I do see that your emotions are gonna be running high might be a little bit sensitive but this is medicine this is gonna help you shed those old stories so that you can step into your power okay communication is also going to be very good for you the month of July as well okay so let's get into the next cards that came through for you so we have what water okay water emotions you see this okay so the month of july you're being asked to drink more water eat more foods with water like them cucumbers okay um such as fresh fruits and vegetables get your water and take going all right make sure you drink half your body weight in water right okay we have talk about your feelings which is that cancer energy you are going to be talking about your feelings the month of july but there's going to be helpful people there to listen to you to support you you are supported the month of july okay tell a friend how you feel and trust believe you will be doing that the month of july we have happy surprise so something very good is about to happen to you the month of July and it's going to be a happy surprise. And we also have you are gifted, which I see that with the, the creative expression, the magician, the star, the moon, the emperor, period. You are gifted, okay? You are very intelligent and talented. So embrace it. And I definitely see that you're going to be embracing that energy the month of July. I'm happy for you guys, okay? We also have New Vitality, which is basically like the Magician card. So you got it twice in your reading. I feel like you guys are also going to be starting something new, whether it's a new relationship, a new friendship that just makes you feel so happy, or maybe it's a new hobby. Maybe it's, you know, returning back to an old hobby that you used to enjoy, but you never had time for it. Maybe it's just, you know, a new sense of spiritual knowledge, you know, that enlightens you. Maybe you just go on a meditation session and you tap into this energy and it's just like, whoa, I feel like a brand new person. You guys, like that's what's coming through for you, this new spark. And it's going to spark something so big, so emperor inside of you. All right. And I'm happy for you. Okay. We also have rebuild, which equals up to a seven, which is all about growth. And this could be about, you know, the month of July, really rebuilding yourself coming from from the end of that tough cycle, you know, rebuilding yourself, healing yourself. But this could also be about rehealing relationships, rebuilding relationships, rebuilding your foundation, you know, because when we go through those periods where we just feel so unmotivated and lazy, we kind of crumble. We don't have routine. So this is all about rebuilding your routine, getting yourself where you need to be so that you can get in alignment with your goals and your long term thinking, the ninth house energy. Okay. And honestly, the month of July is going to be very lit for you guys. 
We also have change your focus. So this lets me know the month of July, you're gonna be thinking about things a lot differently with a much clearer, mindful perspective, okay? And we also have love abounds, you know, and this ties into loving everything, loving yourself, falling in love with yourself, falling in love with somebody else, okay? For those of you, because that's what I'm seeing here for some of you, definitely love here. New friendships, new love for hobbies, new love for life, okay? Sip this tea. I'm excited for you guys. Okay, so we all, this numerology cards. So the month of July, surrender, which is all about new beginnings, ending something, ending the tough cycle so that you can start a fresh, brand new, empowering cycle, okay? Surrendering those old stagnant emotions, surrendering binge eating food in your bedroom, watching toxic TV shows. We're leaving that behind so that we can step into the productivity, so that we can step into helping the world and connecting with the universe and living our life's purpose. You see how all of this is just boom, in your face and you're ready for it, okay? We also have change. So the month of July, it's going to be a big happy change for you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, we also have effort. So you're gonna be putting more effort into a lot of things. And I'm definitely like, whoa, I'm just excited for you guys because it's been a lot of stagnant energy. That's what's coming through, but you're getting through it, okay? We also have relationship change, relationship change. So if you have been single, I'm seeing that it's coming in. And if you are currently in a toxic relationship, I'm seeing the month of July, it's ending. And this doesn't have to be about, you know, love relationships. This could be about a relationship with yourself. Do you have a toxic negative relationship with yourself? If so, the month of July, your whole perspective is going to change and you're gonna snap out of it. You know, do you have a toxic relationship with a family member? Do you have a toxic relationship with a friend? Are you gonna make a new friend? You know, cause it's not all about endings. It's also about inviting the new energy in. So expect that, definitely expect it. And we also have creativity, which ties into this creative expression. You guys are just going to be emotionally just on point, you know, so watery and just so creative the month of July. And this is a month where you can create like genius things. You know, if you're focused on money, if you want to start a business, what are your creative gifts? Can you sew? Can you paint? Can you dance? Can you sing? All right. Can you make jewelry? Like go for it because the star card, the magician, emperor, like that's success right there okay and I really want you guys to let go of any negative thinking any sad thoughts that try to sneak back from that old cycle you just exited look out for that okay so the crystal for you guys, the month of July is Jade. Wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here, period, you guys. So it's all tying together. For the month of July, you guys are just gonna be in a state of healing and love. And I'm so excited for you guys. And as always, I did wanna pull some romance cards just to see what you know energy is around your love life for the month of July. So we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take, you know, so putting yourself out there, you know, maybe going out to social events. That's what I'm seeing, hanging around a lot of people, making the effort, you know, not just waiting for it to come to you. You actually have to step out of the comfort zone if you're single, but if you're in a relationship, make some more efforts, you know, get the love flowing, you know, initiate some things. Okay. We also have getting to know each other. So the month of July, you're going to be getting to know somebody. Okay. Whether you're currently in a happy relationship, you guys are going to be making the effort to intensify the connection or if you're single you're going to be meeting somebody okay and you guys are going to take the time to get to know each other and this nine of cups lets me know you're going to be so happy i'm excited for you guys honestly truly we also have the flirt card which you already know extend your lightheartedness to others you're going to be very flirtatious you're going to be a spicy little thing huh um so you guys that was the reading that came through for you of course i do want to add something special for you since this is my birthday month july leo mm -hmm. okay i want you to ask a question look at this deck as i'm shuffling and ask your question Thank you, thank you. All right, three cards, that was my intention. So we have helpful people, peaceful resolution, and we also have choose a new direction. So whatever question that you asked, these are your answers. We have helpful people, 
choose a new direction, peaceful resolution. So take that however you will. I don't know what questions you asked, but hopefully that helped you. This is gonna be what advice you guys need to take with you for the month of July. Connecting with all of my lovelies that will be selecting pile number two. What is the advice for group two for the month of July? Oh, that's so sweet and it's so true. All right, we'll give you guys four because I'm feeling the vibe, okay? First card that jumped out, you are talented and freaking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice, just don't use it for dumb stuff, okay? You also got rebel because freak it. Be who you wanna be. Don't let anybody hold you back the month of July. We also have get the freak out of your head. Get in your heart, it misses you. And this is the whole theme, you know, getting out of that toxic, tough cycle, getting out of the negative thinking and getting in your heart space, receiving love, meeting new people. Oh my gosh, okay. And the very last card that came through was winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that stuff. Okay, you got something good coming to you the month of July. It could be meeting a new person. It could be anything. Don't ruin it, okay? And then I'm gonna pull you guys three affirmations to take with you the month of July. These affirmations will benefit you. So repeat them, eat them, breathe them, sleep with them, okay? What are the three affirmations for group two? Thank you. What are the three affirmations for group two? What do they need to take with them? What can help them be empowered? Be bold, be brave, be beautiful. All right. Why are you looking? All right, so we have prosperity. Abundance flows into my life in surprising and miraculous ways every day. Abundance flows into my life in surprising and miraculous ways every day. We also have emotional health. I am gentle with myself. I am gentle with myself, okay? And we also have relationships. What are the odds? I tell the truth with grace and love and my relationships are transformed, okay? I tell the truth with grace and love and my relationships are transformed. All right, group number two. So that was your beautiful, positive reading. I'm, of course, the sun card came out. Duh, this is my energy. But I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Please comment down below. Let me know how this made you feel, how this resonated, if you are excited, because I'm excited for you guys, okay? Thumbs up this video. Let me know you want to see more likes. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next group. Let's go. All right, my beautiful lovelies. So let's go ahead and tune into my lovelies that selected pile number three. All right, let's see what the month of July has in store for you. The last group was super lit, so you know, I'm just, I'm vibing right now. So let's see what the month of July has in store for you guys. So the first card, ooh. So we have Basil, which this card is all about relief and rejuvenation. The word that's coming up with this one is relaxation, okay? All right, what's the next card? We have Bergamot, which is all about determination, maturity. Okay. Clary Sage, intuition, clarity, and cycles. And when I think of sage, I think of a cleansing. When I think of relief and rejuvenation, cleansing, I think of toxic things leaving out of your life, whether it's cleaning out your pantry, cleaning out your, your bedroom, cleansing your space, clearing out, you know, your friends list on social media, or whether it's, you know, clearing out negative people in your life. Whatever it is, I feel like the month of July, your life, your energy field, everything about you will just be rejuvenated and cleansed cleansed, okay? And that's going to lead up to your maturity. So this is perfect. This is all in alignment for you. That's exciting, okay? And we have coriander, which is all about your life's mission, perspectives. And tying this in with the bergamot card, this is the energy of, you know, maturing, leveling up. You know, you're not so much focused on, you know, the things that the younger you would focus on. You're more so focused on your life's purpose, focused on, you know, getting established in the world in the month of July, you're going to be doing that. Also with this Clary Sage, it lets me know that your intuition is going to be helping you along the way. 
so that you can get aligned with, you know, your life's mission, your life's purpose, okay? So that is very beautiful. That's what's coming your way the month of July. All right, so we... <sighs> King of Pentacles. And you guys, this is crazy. Like literally King of Pentacles literally talks about maturing. It talks about establishing, your sh establishing yourself. It talks about getting everything in your life together. You know, it talks about preparing. I keep having to burp, geez. It talks about preparing for your lineage, you know, your children and your children's children. It's it's a mature energy, you know, and it's like you're ready for it. And it looks like you're also going to be Ooh, some of you guys, you might find out you're pregnant the month of July. Some of you guys, you're going to find out that you're pregnant or somebody close to you is pregnant, but I really feel like it's going to be you that's going to be finding out that you're pregnant. This is maturing energy. I'm looking at Clary Sage and I just got that insight. You guys, maturity, living your life's mission. You're going to have time to relax, rejuvenate. You're going to be pregnant. Well, some of you, okay. If you're not trying to get pregnant, I'm not trying to scare you. <sighs> getting things with your family established. Six of swords. This is the energy of moving away. I'm seeing movement for you, but this is mental. So, you know, you're going to be clearing out old negative thoughts. You're going to be getting your mindset together. You're going to really have to mature and grow up here. Okay. Moving forward. Some of you guys might even relocate, move to a different house. You might be settling for a property or buying a house the month of July. Um, but that's going to work out for you and your the emperor. That's going to work out for you in your favor. The Emperor, which is all about that Aries energy, leadership energy. You are going to be on your stuff the month of July, and I'm so excited for it. What? All of you guys are popping so far. We have two of pentacles in reverse, so there's going to be a dis tough decision that you need to make the month of July. Or for some of you, this could be indicating that the month of July, you might, you know, have a lot on your plate and you might really have to take a break. You might really have to, you might be forced to just chill out. You know, you might be trying to juggle so much stuff with this king of pentacles and the emperor energy. You really might be trying to just do it all, okay? Because you're so determined. But the month of July, your body might kind of force you just to chill out, you know, or, you know, your your husband or somebody close to you in your life that's very wise, your boss, whoever, they're going to be like, okay, you've been working very hard. Let's take a break. You need to take a little bit of a break. Um, so you might go on a little vacation as well because I am seeing movement travel, okay? Ace of Pentacles. So, and with the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, I'm seeing your finances for the month of July. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like that, okay? It's gonna be very nice, very fun, and I'm excited for you. We also have Temperance in Reverse. Ace of Wands, upright, and we also have Judgment in Reverse, all right? And I will say, you know, you guys are moving away from something. You're moving forward, and I'm not saying that it's going to be easy because with the Judgment card in Reverse, it's like you're going to be looking back. You're going to be like... But did I really just walk away from that? Um, but whatever you're walking away from, it's because you're maturing and you need to. So whatever it is the month of July that you have to walk away from, you have to leave, it's because you need to. And I'm seeing that you might not trust the process in the beginning for whoever is going to find out that they're pregnant the month of July. You might be scared at first. And you're going to be like, oh, I don't know what to do. But it's a blessing. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. It's going to spark so much love, joy, happiness, passion into your life and I'm excited for you but of course you know it doesn't necessarily have to be about you know birthing a child it could just be pregnancy of honestly giving birth to a new sorry giving birth to a new business a new job giving birth to a new relationship and it, it's funny because li literally last night in my dream like I was pregnant I found that I was pregnant and that was so cool I was so excited in my dream like uh I was so excited and then I was like okay I'm giving birth to, to something beautiful <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, so for those of you that things are going to be ending, you're going to be maturing and walking away from a situation, you might, you know, not know where you're going to go or how what the universe has in store for you, but it's of your best interest. The month of July, you have two aces, which that means you're going to be very lucky. You're going to be very successful and you're going to just be on point to the month of July. Okay, so... These cards, when I was shuffling, I held the intention that these cards are going to let us know what the overall theme is for you guys the month of July. So the very first card that came through, we have New Moon in Libra, a new romantic, ooh, 
Go on, child. Okay. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're going to be starting a new relationship. That's really fun. That could be with this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, with this birthing energy is. You're going to be starting something new, a new relationship. So that is very beautiful. That's the overall theme for you guys. We have new moon in Aries, okay? It's time to take action. Dang, full moon in Aries, okay? A fiery climax approaches. So we have two cards here that talk, well, three. We have three cards here that talks about the Aries energy. So this helps me know that the month of July, you will be on it. Your leadership your leadership skills will be on point. But also this is indicating that, you know, you, you might be a little bit aggressive, you know, just aggressive the month of July, which that's not a bad thing, but some people might just be caught off guard by that. But yeah, so, and I'm also seeing with these two new moon cards, it looks like you're going to be starting something brand new, <gasps> something brand new the month of July. This is so exciting, you guys. So I did want to go ahead and pull some astrology cards just to go ahead and see what additional energy is going to be present the month of July. So the planet is the south node. The south is all about shedding, okay? Shedding stories that don't serve you, shedding people that don't serve you, just shedding. Think of snake anytime you think of the south. It's shedding, serpent. You don't want it. It needs to go. And you have maturity. You talk about, you know, relief, rejuvenation, six of swords, two of pentacles. You guys are really going to be leaving something behind. And I'm not saying that's going to be easy, but it's needed. It's much necessary. If you're wanting to level up, if you're wanting to mature, if you're wanting to grow, the month of July, you're going to, you're going to cut something out. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. This could be anything. You guys don't just get scared and think I'm talking about a person or a relationship. This could be habits. This could be anything. Okay. That doesn't serve you. So don't get freaked, but just know that you need to do this. Okay. Okay. Also the month of July, let go of any insecurities, let go of any anxiety, any stress because you are taken care of. Like you have two aces here. Money is going to be good. Your creativity is going to be good. So you got this. Okay. We also have Aquarius. Okay. The Aquarius energy. And we also have the sixth house, which is all about serving, giving, receiving. Okay. And I feel like with this, the emperor energy, you know, the king of pentacles, um, I'm seeing here that you might be in two of pentacles in reverse. You know, you really might be giving a lot of your time and effort. So just make sure you're taking things slow. You're not overwhelming yourself with this situation. So, and also a message for you the month of July is just to keep remembering your vision. Remember what you're doing all of this for, because I'm seeing that you're going to be working very hard. Okay. So just remember why you're doing this. Okay. So with that being said, and also signs, zodiac signs that are going to be playing a big part for you the month of July, we have, I'm definitely seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, big time. Okay. And I'm also seeing, honestly, those are the main signs that's coming through for you. Of course, Aquarius, but mainly Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries. Okay. So there's that energy for you. So the next messages that you have for the month of July, we have finished what you've started. You have started something important and now it's time to complete it. So make sure that you're not walking away from certain projects. Just finish it. You know, you, that'll give you a peace of mind. That'll just make you feel better, you know, so you don't have unfinished projects all over the place. If you're a Gemini moon and you're watching this, this message is for you. Just make sure you complete what you start, you know, so you're not stressed out, you know, and close out any bookmarks or tabs that you're not using on your phone, okay? We also have listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong the month of July. And this really adds up to the maturity, the emperor energy, the king of pentacles, calling the shots, you know, not letting people trick you into doing dumb stuff, you know, not believing all the craziness that you're hearing. All right. So listen to your feelings. Listen to your intuition the month of July. We also have teamwork, which lets me know you're going to be working with people the month of July. We also have best friends. Okay. 
true friends stick together no matter what so if you currently don't have a best friend I feel like the month of July you might meet your future best friend anyways I feel like you know honestly the month of July this would be a perfect month for you to you know team up with somebody get a friend you know or a person that you're intimate with oh I feel like I gotta sneeze again so the next cards that we have, we have Rest and Reconsider, Relief, Rejuvenation, Six of Swords. The month of July, please don't overwork yourself because if you do overwork yourself, your body, your mental health, it's going to force you to have to, you know, chill out, you know, chill out. And also, you know, hanging out with your friends, taking some time just to chill with your friends, that will help you as well, definitely. So that's something to think about. Make sure that you're not trying to just work, 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 work when you really need to chill out, let your body de-stress, take some time for yourself because it's much needed. I'm seeing with this Two of Pentacles in the month of July, you might be a little bit overwhelmed because you're just trying to handle so much stuff. You know, that's not a bad thing. You're just on it, but just make sure you're listening to your body, okay? We also have movement. So literally some of you guys, I feel with this message with Six of Swords here, like I said earlier, you guys are gonna be moving moving, you know, moving locations, moving something. Maybe it's a job, maybe it's a house. Who knows? But I'm seeing major movement for you guys. And movement is also growth. So that is so exciting. And we also have giving and receiving, which represents the sixth house, you guys. So and also I'm seeing that financially, you will definitely be taken care of the month of July. I sound so congested. I don't know why my nose is doing this right now. Okay, so the next chords that you guys got, let's see. So we have follow your dreams. The month of July, you guys will really be going after your dreams, starting your businesses, getting yourself together. And I'm so excited for you guys. We also have karmic completion, which is very beautiful. And I'm seeing, you know, karmic completion. This is basically the ending of a toxic cycle. So if you have been feeling, you know, like you've just been repeating a certain lesson or you've just been repeating something very toxic and draining, the month of July, you have completed it. Okay, that could be by the end end of July going into the July it just depends on the person but that's a really good thing you know completing karmic you know if you've completed your karmic debt you've learned the lesson and that is why you guys are maturing the month of July you're leveling up and I'm so excited okay so we also have forgiveness you know forgiving certain people. So maybe there's a friend that you need to forgive. Maybe there's somebody in your life that you just need to forgive. So the month of July, I see that you guys are going to be coming back together. That's what's coming through here. We also have synchronicities. So the universe is going to be sending you a lot of synchronicities the month of July. So please pay attention to what numbers you see, what posts you see on the Instagram, on the Facebook. Pay attention, okay? Because that's the universe connecting with you, sending you brilliant ideas that is going to help you and benefit you okay so listen to that and we also have love partnership okay so and with tying this in with forgiveness if you and your partner are not on the right page if you guys are just upset with each other I see the month of July reconciliation coming back together coming back in irony okay so that's so beautiful but just in general love partnership you know you could be starting a new relationship with this ace of pentacles ace of wands uh king of pentacles you could be starting something new or you could just be healing your relationship and for some of you guys if you walk away from a relationship relationship the month of June. It's simply because you've completed that karmic relationship, which is not a bad thing, okay? You don't want to stay in a karmic relationship forever. So the crystals that will be very beneficial for you guys the month of July, we have Sapphire. Easy does it. And listen to this message. See how all of these cards just come together? We have your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. And this card is all about easy does it. You know, take it slow. Don't overwhelm yourself. The month of July, you know, your energy just might be different to where you, you can't do everything that you would like to do. You have to take breaks. You have to, you know, take things slow. 
We also have Azurite. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this is all about deep emotional healing. And both of these cards are blue, which correlates to your throat chakra. Communication, forgiving people, reaching out to that love partner, reaching out to whoever you need to forgive. Okay, because remember, a new romantic cycle begins. So, you know, if you're you're hesitant, you don't know if you should apologize, you don't know if you should reach out, this reading is saying that you should definitely reach out, okay? That's what's coming through for you. So the Azerite card is all about your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. So the, the month of... July is going to be very healing for you guys. And I'm so excited, you know, doing spa days, whether you're a boy or a girl, it does not matter. Treating yourself, doing a hair mask, face mask, taking some days off from work. You know, maybe you can plan four days, five days off in a row, just so you can really cleanse and rejuvenate yourself. You guys, that is what spirit is saying right now. So please take my advice. It will make you feel so much better during that break from work. You can, you know, finish up projects that you've been wanting to do. You can tap into your dreams. You can, you know, really just focus on growth in your life. Okay. And so these last cards here, this is going to be messages for your love life. What you need to hear about your love life for the month of July. So we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this lets me know that you could really just be focusing on your career the month of July, you could just be putting your love life on the back burner, or this could be indicating for my singles out there that you might meet your lover at your job. Okay, so there is that. The next card is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, which taps into Azurite. You know, the deep healing that is needed is going to be occurring the month of July. And the last card is you deserve love. Baby girl, baby boy, you are lovable. And don't you forget it. Okay, so these are all my messages that you need to remember about the month of July. You know, please rewatch these messages so you make sure you got everything in there. Take some notes. But before we end your reading, I'm doing something special because it's July, you know, my birth month. So what I want you to do is look at this deck as I'm shuffling and think of a question, okay? <laughs> think of a question as I'm shuffling, okay? And I'm gonna pull three cards and hopefully those three cards can answer your question. So, thank you. There's one. Okay. Okay, there's two. All right, so the answers to your questions, we have helpful people. All right, we have romance. And we have don't stop, don't you stop it, baby, okay? So hopefully those answered your questions. This was for a lot of people, so if it didn't, it's okay. We'll try again next time. So this is going to be the advice, messages from Spirit. What advice can group three take with them? What advice does group number three need to hear the month of July? So this is the advice for you guys. Don't talk to anybody. Don't look at anyone. You need some freaking alone time and you know why. This card is even telling you, you need to take a break and rest and relax. All right. We have stop sleeping so dang much. Wake up. You're missing some cool stuff, homie. Whoa. And these cards are blue, which talks about your throat chakra, you know, really communicate with whatever, whoever you need to communicate with. All right. And you also have ask a freaking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a dang professional. Okay. And the last card is it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your stuff, for your shenanigans. And this is the rebel deck. It gives you the hard truth. It tells you everything that you need to hear when you need to hear it. So that was the deck, not me. But you know, take this advice because it's tough love. But when you apply these messages, when you apply the advice, beautiful things will come into your life. And so ending your reading, you guys, I am going to pull you three affirmations. These affirmations will be very powerful and it will be very beneficial for you to use these affirmations throughout the month of July. What are the affirmations for group three? What are the affirmations for group number three? Thank you. All right, back of the deck energy, we have work. 
okay? The perfect job finds me, okay? The perfect job finds me. We have spiritual health. I feel God's presence in my life. I feel God's presence in my life, okay? Remember that. You are always protected eternally, okay? We have emotional health. I am patient with my needs, kind with my words, and respectful of my soft places. I am gentle with myself, okay? And we also have physical health, which this is about. I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and allow my cells to vibrate at their highest potential. Okay, so the month of July, do things that make you feel good. Do things that make you feel just rejuvenated and fresh. Okay, not funky fresh. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that was your reading. If this resonated with you, please go ahead and comment down below how this made you feel. Comment if you were excited for July. I know I am and I'm happy for you guys. This is beautiful. Just make sure you take things slow, please. Okay. But yeah, comment down below how this made you feel. Also thumbs up this video. Let's me know you want to see more like so. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next group. Let's go. All right, so tuning into my lovelies that selected pile number four, let's go ahead and see what the month of July has in store for you, what you can expect, what you can look out for. Let's get it, let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what energy is coming into your life the month of July, what you can expect. Okay, so, whew, I don't know how to pronounce this card, Mary Joram, it's something. This card is all about trust. Okay, having faith, having faith in the universe, knowing that whatever presents itself to you is going to be beautiful. It's going to be miraculous. Okay, so there's that. I'm seeing like a new, a new energy is going to be coming in. We have Juniper Berry, which is all about mirrors, awareness. Okay, so new energy is coming into your life. Awareness, okay, something is going to be revealed to you. Something's going to be shown to you. We also have Ginger, which this card talks about courageous behavior, clear intentions. Okay, so that's interesting. I'm seeing a lot of green, which that correlates with the heart chakra, which is healing. So that's beautiful. And we also have Lime. And this card is my favorite card from this deck. Um, this is all about entertainment and delight. So it looks like the month of July, you could even be going on a vacation, doing something fun, but I'm seeing that it's gonna be full of beautiful energy and a abundance okay happiness so you guys have page of pentacles all right we also have ten of pentacles so to answer your question for those of you that are wondering about the finances i'm saying that you will be financially abundant and taken care of the month of july so that is a blessing of course we have the delight card okay so that explains it happiness carefree you know you'll be taken care of in the finances department so you can you know enjoy you know bless yourself vibe okay i am so extra today but it's okay i'm leaving this in you know this is that this is that leo energy i'm leaving it in there you know so we also have the devil card all right we have six of swords in reverse we have ten of cups okay two tens which that's very good so that confirms this energy of you know something new a new beginning okay completion we also have page of wands, two pages. There's a lot of balance in your spread, which is a very good thing. A lot of balance. We have two of pentacles in reverse. As I talk about balance, the number two comes up in reverse. How funny is that? And we all have the empress. This is a beautiful spread. So let's talk about it. So the cards that are called, all of these cards are calling my attention. It's very interesting, the energy that is going to be occurring for you the month of July. Also, if you hear like a little background noise, it's because somebody's taking a shower, but I don't feel like stopping. So I'm just going to go with it. Okay. But anyways, so we'll start with these two cards. So I'm seeing with the devil card next to six of swords in reverse. This energy to me, it's like the month of July, you might have a hard time moving away from something that, you know, really makes you happy. Maybe it's smoking, maybe it's drinking, maybe it's, you know, a certain friend that's bad for you, but you have so much fun with when you're with them. 
Maybe it's just eating, overeating, overindulging, but you know, whatever it is, you, the month of July, you might have a hard time moving away from it, but you need to move away from it because it's making you feel very sluggish. It's making you feel not motivated. It's just, it's not good for you. It's making you feel kind of drained with this two of pentacles. And you know, two of pentacles could also be indicating that the month of July, you're going to have to make a decision to walk away from this toxic stuff that doesn't serve you. Okay. But all is not lost because you have two tens, two pages in the mother freaking empress period. All right. So I'm seeing that once you walk away from the, this bad temptation, and I feel like you're also with this mirrors with the awareness, something is going to happen the month of July where you're forced to see like, Hey, I'm, this is not good. I need to stop doing this. I need to stop living like this. I need to stop hanging out with this person, whatever it is. That's toxic. You're going to realize that you need to stop doing it. Period. All right. And it's, it's good though. Okay. Because it, it'll help you get your clear crystal clear intentions, you know, and it'll just help you have more faith in whatever you're doing. All right. And just know that you can have fun while still not indulging with this negative energy. Okay. Temptation. And also temptation is going to be presented to you the month of July, whether it be a freaking fine person and you're in a relation, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be temptation. Maybe you're on a diet and you're tempted to just, you know, oh, one bite won't hurt. Well, according to the tarot, it will. Okay. So that's something to be looking forward to the month of July. Now I'm also seeing with the pages, page of wands, page of pentacles. So honestly, for you guys, you're going to be starting something new. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. So if you've been, you know, applying for jobs, if you've been wanting, um, a new job to come into your lap, the month of July is going to come. The opportunity is going to come to you two pages. You're starting something new and it's going to actually be something that you're passionate about. So maybe you are a girl and you've been working fast food all your life and you're really passionate about makeup. You know, you're going to get a job where you can finally work with makeup stuff like that you know you're gonna find a job opportunity that's gonna bring you that the money and the passion you know so and if this is not your current reality start speaking it because the month of July it can come to you all right Empress for my ladies out there I will say you know this is the energy of birth fertility growth okay we also have ten of Pentacles ten of cups that's interesting I'm seeing like a lot of fertility in this spread um and even this card has a baby in it so maybe somebody in your family is going to have a child. Maybe you are. That's really interesting. The last group got that too. So, but this could also be representing that you are giving birth to something beautiful, which hence it could be you giving birth to this new job, you giving birth to the new you that is cutting out this temptation. All right. Also for the month of July, I'm seeing happiness, you know, happiness in relationships. I'm seeing happiness with yourself. I'm seeing happiness with your family. So if things have been shaky in your home life, the month of July, things are going to get better for you. Okay. So, and also, you know, girl or guy, the month of July, you're going to be very attractive to people. People are just going to be looking at you like, Oh my goodness, who is this person? Like, may I have a bite? Okay. So that's the energy around you. So it's going to be a really fun month for you guys. I'm seeing a lot of change and transition. So these cards right here, I went into this with the intention that these cards are going to tell me what the overall energy theme is going to be for the month of July for you guys, what you can really focus on. So we have a full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Okay. And so, and this is, this makes a lot of sense, you know, fine. And also the Empress, this is going to be you the month of July, looking at yourself in the mirror, you know, mirror literally and being like, whoa, I'm gorgeous. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. Okay. You're going to look at yourself with this new insight, you know, maybe you're going to do a little something and then you're just going to be like, whoa, I'm looking from a completely different perspective and I just see myself and why have I been treating myself so poorly? You know, I'm gorgeous, you know, I'm handsome, whatever it is, you know, you're going to see that beauty in yourself as well. The month of July, your self-confidence is definitely going to be up there. All right. So the next card is new moon in Sagittarius, which this new energy, which is all about the new, the new beginnings. Okay. Luck is going to be on your side the month of July. So if you're wanting something, go ahead and make
manifest it. Put it on your vision board, you know, take a picture of whatever you want, put it as your lock screen, bring the energy into your life, write it out as if it's already come because luck is on your side. New beginnings and the Sagittarius energy is all about new, new, new expansion, growth. It's beautiful. Okay. And so the very last card is balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces and Pisces is all about reflections. It's all about the mirror looking at yourself. So you're really going to be looking at yourself from a different perspective, but it's all going to help you, you know, come in balance with a lot in your life. Okay. So these next three cards, I went into it with the intention that it's going to show me like what is exactly going to be happening. Um, the month of July, what you can look out for, give me more details. So you guys have the North Node, and this is basically all about not having to worry. Don't worry, have faith. Everything will turn out beautifully for you, okay? So if you are, you know, having to leave a toxic relationship or if you're having to leave a toxic friendship, or if you're, you know, having to really cut cold turkey smoking or, you know, overeating or drinking, whatever it is, have faith. Know that you can get through this, okay? We also have Taurus as the zodiac sign, which is all about, Taurus is all about stability. They're all about the money. They're all about the fine things in life. And so you guys are going to be living it good July. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be taken care of. And you guys are in the third house the third house. So, and this is also about, you know, communication. It's also about making connections. So I feel like, you know, with the job situation, if you have been wanting a new job or it doesn't even have to be a new job, you could be getting a new house. Maybe you need housing, like communication connection. You will be plugged in the month of July. So this is the month where things are going to be rolling in. And it's funny because the month of July, it's the number seven, you know, seven is the month number. And seven is all about growth okay forward movement okay and all of the groups have this forward movement energy and you guys it's just oh I'm so excited for you guys okay so that's something to definitely look forward to I'm excited for you you're going to be having a lot of ideas okay you're definitely going to have success you're going to be benefiting from something the month of July Okay, so the next card, all of these groups are making me so happy because I love you guys so much and I just love when I get to tell you guys good news. Okay, so the next cards that are coming through, we have forgive. So the month of July, you're definitely gonna have to forgive somebody, whether it be yourself, whether it be your parents, your siblings, um, whether it be, you know, your friends, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever it is that you need to forgive. The month of July, I see that forgiveness is going to be coming into play. It's time for you to let go of old anger and blame if so we also have worth waiting for your patience will be well rewarded so like I said if you have been wanting you know new energy a new job a new house if you've been wanting a new relationship and you've been waiting 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 and you're like where is it at it's coming to you remember you are worthy you are good enough and luck is on your side you know major growth for you guys so we also have grandparent you have a special bond with the grandparent that can never be broken so for whoever needed to hear that message it did come through for you lovely so there you go and we also have love from your parents no matter what your mother and father love you as much as they can so I'm guessing that some of you guys do need to forgive your parents maybe you were raised by your grandparents and your real parents were never there. Whatever the case scenario is, it's really time for you for you to heal from that and just forgive them and know that I guess that was the best that your parents could do in that situation. Um, but of course, that's not going to resonate with all of you, but the message did come out for a reason, so I'm not going to disregard it. I'm going to put it out there for you guys. So the next cards that we do have for all of you guys for the month of July, we have open up. You're going to be opening up, you know, maybe you're going to be opening up to yourself. Maybe you're going to be opening up to somebody else by forgiving them, or you're going to be meeting somebody new. Okay. Coming together. So I guess that's confirmation. You're going to be meeting somebody new. Okay. Embrace. Okay love yeah so your love life is definitely going to be 
a big thing in the month of July. We also have moving on. So it's a big energy for you guys the month of July. You're going to be moving on from old things that don't serve you. For some of you guys, you're going to be going back to an ex. That's what I'm seeing. And also, I did not tell you already, but the zodiac signs that are going to be playing a big part in your life. We have Capricorn, we have Taurus. We also have, um, of course, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, I already said those. Sagittarius would be one of them. Um, but that's really what I'm seeing here with the zodiac signs. But yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be coming together with somebody, forgiving somebody. Um, definitely moving on from the past, okay? So that's the message for you. We also have compassion, number 99, looking at things from a different perspective, communication. You're going to be in communication with somebody that um, you have been waiting around for. We also have self-love, which is remembering, you know, full moon of Virgo. You are good enough. You are beautiful. All right. You are worthy of the abundance. You are worthy of the new job, the new car, the new house, whatever it is. It's coming to you. It's already yours. Congratulations, okay? And we also have abundance. So financially, you will be taken care of the month of mother freaking July. And I'm so excited for you guys, like seriously, okay? You will have the connections, you will have everything that you need, all right? So I did pull, let's see, this was the crystal for you guys for the month of July. We have Kyanite, okay? Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now, you know, because I feel like you're going to have so much new stuff going on, so much new energy, so many blessings coming in that you might really, you know, have to neglect yourself a little bit. But especially with the Empress, take care of yourself. You got this, you know, have some fun, you know, with all this energy coming in into your life, but you're ready for it. And then of course, I couldn't leave you guys hanging. I pulled three cards. This is going to be representing your love life for the month of July. So woo, spicy. Okay, you guys have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay, so whether you're currently in a relationship with somebody, whether you're single, I feel like you might meet somebody the month of July, definitely, with this love card and coming together. Compassion, communication, opening up. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. So if you are single, the month of July, you honestly might be meeting somebody, okay? And it's definitely going to turn into something very beautiful. But if you're currently in a relationship and it's like a happy loving relationship this is confirmation for you you know true love this is a romance of a mother freaking lifetime all right we also have new love okay a new person has stirred your romantic feelings okay so that's very interesting and for the devil card for whoever needs to hear this if you are currently in a relationship and you know there's somebody else that is trying to get your attention and they're very tempting i would be careful with that or maybe an ex is trying to come back and you're already in a new relationship just be careful with that you know two of pentacles can talk about juggling two or more people um romantically so just make sure you know you're not being shady because it always comes back but but that's not for all of you guys, okay? We also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? Do it. Communication. Open up. Get out of your shell. If you're somebody that's very shy, you keep to yourself. The month of July, you're going to just be opening your wings and you're going to be just, you know, opening up to people, okay? All right, you guys, before we uh, before we end this reading, I do want to do something special for you guys. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at these cards as I shuffle, okay? Look at them and ask a question. Look at the deck and ask. Whatever your question is, ask it. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pull three cards. Hopefully they can answer your question, okay? Because this is for a lot of people. All right, so whatever it is you are asking, the first card is within the next few weeks. Helpful people, ask your angels. All right, so this was for a lot of people, so hopefully that answered your question. Moving on, we do have advice cards. We're gonna pull three advice cards for you guys or however many come out, you know, you know. What is the overall advice for group four people? What is the overall advice for group number four for the month of July? What is the overall advice for group four? All right. So 
The first card, you look like a, a mess. You are a hot mess. Clean yourself up, okay? We also have that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that stuff. The world has your back. We also have, you are going through some tough stuff. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired self up and handle it. All right. And then we also have step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like AS, you know the rest, even though spirulina is delicious. Don't listen to this. Okay. <laughs> Eat some yummy stuff. Okay, go get you some yummy food, all right? I don't condone bacon, so I'm not gonna say that, but you know, you know, get some stuff that you enjoy, all right? And so to end your reading, I'm going to pull three affirmations. These affirmations will definitely be aiding you the month of July, these will help you. So repeat them, repeat them, and you will see a major results, okay? So the three affirmations, we have work. I am focused, organized, and able to, easily able to honor the priorities that need my attention. We have another work card. I am a shining star and I surround myself with people who encourage my brightness. Physical health. I listen to my body and honor my wisdom. Okay, listen to your body if something is bad for you don't do it. And we also have another work card. So you guys are definitely starting something new or, you know, work is going to be a major thing for you. So we have, as I use my gifts and talents to serve others, doors open to support my success, going after your passion, period. All right, you guys. So group number four, that was your reading. I got such good vibes from this. I'm so excited for you guys to watch this. Please comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Let me know how this made you feel. Let me know if you're excited. All right. As always, thumbs up this video. It lets me know you want to see more like so. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the last, but definitely not least group. Let's go. All right, so connecting with my beautiful lovelies that selected the last, but definitely not least group, number five, let's go ahead and see what the month of July has in store for you. Okay, so starting out, we have Manuka. All right, that good old Manuka honey. All right, we have, this card is all about rescue and confrontation. All right. We have grapefruit, which this card is all about dissatisfaction and detoxification. We have pink pepper. This is all about the wild energy, eagerness. Okay, and we also have dill, which is rapid development. So just from these cards, immediately the energy that I'm seeing here with the Manuka card, this card talks about, you know, you are somebody that you're always, you know, trying to be on it. You're always trying to do things yourself. You know, you don't really ask for help from others. But the month of July, be open to honestly receiving help from others because there's going to be helpful people that, you know, will help you, you know, and they're going to want to give to you. So just receive for a little bit. You're always giving, giving, giving. The month of July, you're going to be receiving, receiving. Okay, we also have grapefruit, which this card talks about dissatisfaction, detoxifying. So, you know, think about it. What do you need to detox? Do you need to detox your body, you know, your insides, do a little cleanse of your, your organs? Or do you need to detox your, your mind? Do you need to detox your environment? Do you need to detox your social media? Do you need to detox your friends? You know, really think about it because it's time for you to get that out because once you get that out that's when the rapid development comes into your life because believe it or not certain things that are toxic hold us back and I'm saying for you you're going to be moving past that you're going to be moving into this new energy that actually serves you okay in the month of July you're going to be very fiery you're going to be very eager to try new things okay so that is very 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 exciting
So the next cards that came through, let's go ahead and see what came through for you guys. So we have two of wands and this is the card for me. This really represents planning things out that you're passionate about. And this ties into the pink pepper card, which is, you know, the eagerness. I feel like the month of July, you're going to have this brainstorm. You're going to have this thought and you're like, okay, I really want to make this happen. And so I feel like you are going to make it happen, but it's going to be a planning. You're going to be planning things through making the foundation, the world card, which is ruled by Saturn, that Saturn energy, which is all about structure. It's all about limitations. It's all about rules. So, but it's also about moving forward, you know, moving forward and trusting what the universe has in store for you. It's kind of like going with the flow. Three of Cups, which this is a very good sign, a very good sign. Ace of Cups, beautiful, okay. The Strength card, Loyalty, the Leo Energy, Justice, the Tower, the High Priestess, and the Fool, okay. So right off the bat, these two cards here are calling out to me. So the full card talks about a new beginning. You, you don't know exactly all the ins and outs of where you're going, but you know that you're so excited to go there. So I see that the month of July, you're going to have this spark. You're going to have this passion. You're going to have this wild thought, you know, despair of the moment. I want to do this. I'm so excited for it. I'm just going to do it. You're going to have a full mo a moment. And the full card is not bad. It's really beautiful. It's pureness. It's pure intention. It's that, that youthful energy of just trusting your intuition, trusting your soul, and just going after what you want. So you're going to be starting something new and for some of you guys it's going to be a relationship like look at this you and you know you could be somebody watching this you know you're so you've been through a lot you know you're very reservative you know you're very to yourself um, and you know, maybe you don't like to open up to people. Maybe you don't like to show your emotions. Maybe you don't like to receive emotions, but honestly, the month of July, somebody's just going to come in and they're going to sweep you off your feet and it's going to happen really fast because this is rapid movement. Okay. And this doesn't have to be a relationship for some of you. It's definitely a relationship, but for some of you, it's simply just a friendship, you know, somebody that you can share, you know, the same thoughts and ideas with somebody that's on the same vibration as you, whatever it is, it's, you know, it's a lot of passion and I feel like it's going to happen quickly, you know, but it's, it's all in divine alignment. That's what I'm seeing with the world card. So, you know, if there's somebody that's interested in you, if there's somebody that, you know, offers to take you out on a date or, you know, that wants to hang out with you, you know, of course, listen to your intuition, always trust your intuition before anybody else. But, you know, if it feels right, if the vibe feels right and you just have this spark inside of you, go with it because I feel like that's going to lead you into a lot, a lot of love, a lot of happiness, whether this be a friendship, a relationship, you know, whatever, you know, but that's something you want to look into because it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, you know? So that's definitely something to look into. The strength card is ruled by Leo. This is the Leo energy of the bright, bold energy leadership, you know, the star of the show. So this lets me know that the month of July, a lot of people will be looking at you. They'll be like, wow, this person's glowing. This person just has it all together. I want to be next to this person. And with the strength card being next to Ace of Cups, I'm seeing loyalty. So if there is somebody that's trying to offer you this new love, this new passion, trust that they can actually be trusted because you being somebody that's been hurt in the past, had a lot of dissatisfaction, you might be like, uh, I don't know. I don't want this to end badly. But with this, it's kind of just like you have to take a leap of faith here. You have to trust. And anytime, let me tell you, anytime the justice card comes up in a reading, it's in your favor. You know, the scales are being balanced. This is good karma coming to you. So just go with the flow. I will say with the high priestess energy, of course, don't give it all away quickly. You know, there might be a lot of passion when you first meet this person. There might be like all of this excitement, eagerness, wildness to just go after it. But just don't give it all away if you know what I mean okay and also you know just take things slow you know take it slow but 
still still go with the flow all right bars okay the tower moment this is indicating exactly what dill is indicating for me this is going to happen very quickly you know it's literally going to happen so fast you're not even going to realize it and that's how fun this is going to be maybe you're going to be out with friends having drinks maybe you're going to be just out with friends so let's get into the next cards these cards this is going to be um basically what is the overall theme for you guys group number five for the month of july so full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. And that's what the grapefruit card is talking about. It's releasing that old energy and just letting this new energy come in. Okay. You also have super moon. Emotions are running high. And this is so feisty. I love this energy because I'm, I'm honestly like tuning into this energy. I'm feeling it. And it's, it's, you know, like when you have this passion, when you meet this person and your soul just connects with them that's what's coming through and this is a beautiful energy so trust your feelings you know and you might even want to rush things but just remember to take things slow you know just take it slow but know that this is going to happen very fast okay we also have full moon in Libra, okay? A win-win outcome is forecasted for you, okay? Balance, stability. Balance and stability is coming to you. So trust that this new, per whether this is a friendship, whether this is a relationship, for some of you, it might even be something different, like a, a new, just new energy coming into your life. But I'm really feeling relationship, friendship energy. Um, but this could be anything, okay? <sighs> But it's really going to bring a lot of happiness into your life, okay? And you have two cards here that talk about the Libra energy. So uh, it could be a Libra or this could just be the energy telling us that, you know, July will be very balanced and good karma will be coming to you. So let's go ahead and see what additional zodiacs come through for you. Interesting. So we have Saturn, which the world card is ruled by Saturn. So Saturn is really going to be playing a part in your life the month of July. And like I said, Saturn is all about realisticness. It's all about um, restrictions. It's all about, you know, just what is the... Um... Basically, think of Saturn as like the strict dad. It's like you, before you can do any of that, you have to be, you have to be realistic with yourself, okay? So just know, you know, because I see that there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of quick movement. So just remember to be smart and just be wise about certain things, you know, have some respect with certain things, you know? So the zodiac sign is in Capricorn, and this could be the energy telling you that the month of July, you definitely want to get grounded. You know, meditating will help you release this, this toxic um, energy, you know, detoxing yourself, um, being very realistic and grounded with yourself. You know, both of these Saturn and Capricorn energy is it's kind of like the same. I love it. Okay. And you also have the 12th house. And the 12th house is all about philanthropy, you know, hidden stuff. Okay. Hidden tendencies, faith. Okay, so, hmm. Another message that's coming through for you is the month of July. Be very realistic about your goals with work. Be realistic about your goals with a lot of things, okay? And also don't give away too much of your information the month of July. That is a message that came through for you. And I will say zodiac signs that will have a big influence on you the month of July or that might be coming into your life the month of July. We have Leo. We have Libra. We have, I'm seeing fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we also have Scorpio energy that's coming through for you as well. Okay, Capricorn as well, something to look forward to. So the next cards that you guys got for the month of July lie believe in yourself okay believe in yourself see yourself doing well well and you will win okay so speak things into existence um have faith in yourself definitely we have practice the best way to be good at a skill is to practice 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 until you get it right okay so if you are starting something new with this two of wands this full card make sure you're constantly practicing make sure you don't give up too easily okay be realistic with yourself you can't learn it overnight that's what that saturn energy is all about it's consistency okay the next card is one step at a time lots of little steps make big dreams come true 
through, which is all, this is all Saturn talking to you right here. It's like, Hey, let's be practical. Um, but, and also don't rush certain things, you know, trust that everything is going to come to you when it's meant, when it's ready. And the last card is family culture. Learn more about your family's stories and histories that can tell you a lot. And that ties into the high priestess here, getting that knowledge, that, that deep knowledge and, you know, really looking into that, you know, so pay attention to that. You know, if your ancestors come up or anything like that, that's a big message that you want to take into consideration. So the next cards, we have believe and succeed. Okay. So successful month for you guys, the month of July, we also have confront listen, which is all about listening to your intuition, listening to your inner guidance. So please listen to your intuition. If you're somewhere and it just feels sketchy, leave. Okay. Trust that energy. But also I'm seeing you're going to be confronting yourself actually with this grapefruit energy, which is all about detoxing this Capricorn, the Saturn energy. You're going to be confronting yourself. You're going to be leaving behind stuff that's holding you back, which is a beautiful thing. Okay. We also have trust. And this card basically is all about trusting the universe, trusting what is coming to you, trusting that everything is happening for a reason and the universe has your back. Don't question anything. Go with the flow and don't block your blessings the month of July. Okay. And the next card is reach out. So, you know, maybe there's somebody on your mind and you just haven't been reaching out because you're skeptical. Trust this message and reach out to them and see where that gets you, okay? Um, if there's somebody that you wanted to confront, you know, go with your intuition and trust that and reach out to them. You will benefit, you know, and like I always say, when the justice card comes up in a reading, this is on your side, you know, justice, good karma is on your side. So it doesn't hurt to reach out because I feel like you've been eyeing somebody. So get on it, all right? So the additional messages for you... We have personal growth. So this lets me know that the month of July, you will just be growing. You will be evolving. Focus on your health in the month of July. Um, work out. Don't neglect your body. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Make sure you are eating healthy foods. Just take care of yourself. You know, and if you have been, if your intuition has been telling you to get it together, it's time to get it together. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is all to help you grow and evolve, okay? The next card is spirituality, which is all about the 12th house. Okay, so look more into it. We have the high priestess energy, which that ties into spirituality. So if you have felt a connection to tapping into your spiritual side, go ahead and do that in the month of July. We also have manifestation, which also ties into the high priestess spirituality and personal growth. Um, the, the month of July will be a very good month for you to manifest your dreams, manifest money, if you will, because we do have financial discipline. Okay, so if you are struggling a little bit financially, manifest it. You can do it, all right? And if you have friends that are into manifesting, you guys can all double up and manifest together and make it even more powerful, okay? All right, so the crystal for you guys for the month of July is Malachite. And this is all about prosperity. There is a positive shift in your flow of divine support the month of July. So like I said, it's time for you to trust, know that you're supported, and know that everything that's going to be presented to you the month of July is going to serve you, okay? So <clears throat> recapping, you know, if there is something that you are just starting, if there's a hobby or a skill that you're passionate about, go after it. Continue to practice. You will succeed, you know, and just be realistic with yourself. What do you need to do to reach your goals. Okay. That's very important. You have to believe in yourself and also detox, detox from any toxic people, things, um, and know that something good is happening to you very quickly the month of July. All right. For some of you, it's love, but main theme is release the negativity. Know that your emotions will be running high the month of July and a win-win outcome is going to come to you the month of July. All right. So these cards, I know you're looking at them. These are your love messages for the month of July, what you can expect, what's coming your way. So 
we have wedding. The situation involves marriage. Okay. Ooh, I just got excited. So if there is somebody that you're already dating with this ace of cups, three of cups, the fool, I'm seeing that they might propose to you the month of July. If there's somebody that you, if you know, you've been wanting to get to know, <laughs> you guys might eventually get married. Who knows? But if you're single and you meet somebody, look more into it. Okay. Because I feel like you know, you could eventually get married to this person. All right. Or, you know, for somebody, you know, tower moment, if you do meet somebody, make sure that they're not married. Okay. That message wanted to come out just, you know. Okay. So the next card is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you're somebody that negatively thinks, about love, release it. Because, you know, if you're negatively talking about love and you say horrible things about it, of course it's not gonna come to you. You have to speak it to a nice, okay? Next card is give your relationship a chance. So if you're currently in a relationship with somebody and things aren't working out, if it's shaky, you're being asked to at least try to work on your partnership, stay positive about it, stay positive about your partner, speak beautiful things about them even if it's hard, okay? Ooh, and we also have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So if you currently are in a relationship with somebody and you guys, maybe you guys just need to take a breather um, for a little bit so that you guys can work on your relationship, okay? But if you are single, I will say, just make sure that anybody that you're messing with, make sure they're not married. Make sure that everything's good in that department. All right, you guys. So before we end your reading, I do want to go ahead and do something special. So what I want you to do is look at these cards as I'm shuffling, okay? Ask the cards a question, all right? This is for a lot of you, so if your question doesn't get answered, we're just gonna go with the flow. But yeah, go ahead and ask your question and I'm gonna pull three cards. We're gonna see what comes up. All right, so we have forgiveness. Listen to your intuition and a year from now. Okay, so hopefully those that answered your question. If it didn't, it's okay. We'll try again next time. I do want to really quick pull you guys some advice messages. So this is the overall advice for you guys the month of July. Okay, they don't need the whole deck. Okay, we'll go with that. So... What's the advice for group five, the month of July? Thank you. Okay. So you guys got stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up, you're missing some cool stuff, okay? You guys also got, you are being shady. Watch out, stuff could get ugly, okay? You also got detox. Two cards that talk about detox, okay? Drink a smoothie, unfriend that a-hole, and throw some stuff out. All right, and then we also got stop freaking whining. No one wants to listen to that crap. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it period. All right. So, and those were the cards talking, not me. You know, I'm your sister here. And to end your beautiful reading, I'm going to pull you guys some affirmation cards, three to be exact. And these affirmations are going to be beneficial and very helpful for all of my group five lovelies. So please repeat these after me. Please, you know, use them, breathe them, feel them the month of July. And I don't know what's going on with my sinuses, not, not my sinuses, but my nose, it just started being itchy. And I think my allergies are acting up. So disregard that, okay. So let's see, what are the affirmations that group five needs to hear for the month of July? What are the affirmations for group five? Thank you. Okay, so you guys got relationships. I honor and protect my sensitivity, okay? For your relationships, I honor and protect my sensitivity. For your work, my career is bursting with opportunities to express my creativity and passion. Okay, my career is bursting with opportunities to express my creativity and passion. 
and you also got the environment card. I am excited to share the things I no longer love or need with people who will love or need them more, aka detox, get rid of stuff, get rid of clutter, get out of it, get it out of here, bye, okay? Um, but yes, you guys, so that was your reading. Please comment down below. Let me know how this made you feel, if this resonated with you. Um, let me know if you're excited. Like, please comment down below. I'm excited to talk to all of you guys also thumbs up this video it lets me know you want to see more like so um and if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed your reading today make sure you subscribe join the family um and if you're interested in any of the decks that i used in this video today go ahead check the description box it has all the juicy information that you would like to know i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i love you guys so much and the month of july will be so beautiful i'll talk to you soon bye